For a geometric sequence with r is positive, we have the second term plus the fourth term equals 30. The fourth term plus the sixth term equals 120. And we're going to find the sum of the first n terms. So basically what we're going to do is look at um, this formula here. It's what we're going to use, this one here. So what we need is the common ratio in our first term. So to do that, we're going to look at a sub 2 plus a sub 4 and rewrite that with r. So a sub 2 is really a, the first term, times your common ratio. And then a sub 4 is your first term times your common ratio three times, so r cubed. And this is going to equal 30. We can factor out an ar, and this will give me 1 plus r squared equals 30. Now let's look at this second one. We have a sub 4 plus a sub 6. So that means uh, our fourth term is really the first term, and then you keep multiplying by the common ratio of three times. And the sixth term would be a times r to the power of 5, and this equals 120. Now let's go ahead and factor out a r cubed. And in uh, our quantity here would be 1 plus r squared equals 120. Now let's call this equation 2, this one uh, 1. So we're going to solve for r by taking equation 2, dividing it by equation 1. So that would be uh, a r cubed times 1 plus r squared divided by a r uh, times 1 plus r squared equals 120 divided by 30. Alright, so this cancels, the a's cancel and you're left with r squared. And r squared is going to equal um, 4. That means r, and r has to be positive, so r is going to be 2. Now if r is 2, we can substitute it back into equation 1. So let's substitute it into this equation. So uh, we have a times 2, then 1 plus 2 squared equals 30. So this is going to be 5 times 2, so that's 10a equals 30, so a equals 3. So now we have our common ratio and our first term. Therefore, uh, let's find the number of terms. Let's use this formula to find the number of terms. So a sub n equals your first term times your common ratio to the power of 2 uh, n minus 1. Now, this is going to be uh, 2 to the power of 2 n minus 1. It's like saying uh, 3 times 2 to the n divided by 2 to the power of 1. Right, so this can be written as 3 halves, I'm taking those two, times 2 to the power of n. Alright, so now let's find the sum using our formula. And we're going to get our sum is going to be um, your first term, 3, um, our common ratio is 2 to the power of n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1. And I use this formula here. So um, this is just going to be 1. So basically um, you're going to get 3 if you distribute. I'm just distributing here 3 times 2 to the power of n minus 3. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.